is a pest control, because that's all lurchers I know, they're pest control dogs. So they catch rabbits, that's their job. And there's several methods of doing that. One is lamping. So throughout the months of October through to March in the winter, a nice dark windy night, I go out to my lurcher and we catch rabbits with the aid of an artificial lamp. You put, illuminate the rabbit, you send the dog to catch, and then hopefully retrieve. You see, all the gun dogs are trained to retrieve. For me, if the lurcher doesn't retrieve, it's not an all-round work of nurture. Okay, another one, this is Darcy. She's never worked before yet, this one. She's only... Uh, well, yeah, it's only just over eight months old, Darcy. She's a collie cross, so she's collie greyhound, but there's three-quarter greyhound, one quarter collie in there. It's a new dummy. We're going to take a dummy hunt all weekend. I've bought some new ones. Because I'm kindly sponsored here today by Sporting Saint. You see Sporting Saint on the side. They've kindly sponsored me here with some training equipment. So if you uh, if you want to get some training equipment, Sporting Saint is the place to go. So we breed collie back to Greyhound. Purely because they're tougher than greyhounds. That's a good girl, isn't it? Greyhounds are really fast. We know that. 43 miles an hour. Fastest dog known to man in the Guinness Book of Records. But the thing is with greyhounds, they don't possess much stamina. They're bred to race around the track, 450 metres, 480 metres. Go back to the kennel and race again, probably three or four days later. These dogs, as I said earlier, they packed on a lap. 10, 15, 20, even 30 rabbits of a night. So they need to be durable and tough. And we know collies are because they work on hill farms. And they're herd sheep all day long. And the other thing with collies, they're very trainable. Greyhounds aren't that trainable. I'm not saying they're not intelligent, but they don't lend themselves to be trained, but collies do. So this dog's never worked before, okay? He'll be sat in their working career, probably January, February, 2020, and she's old enough. But I just want to show you, if you get a well-bred dog, it makes the, gun, the, the allergic trainer's job a lot easier. So, as you saw with the gun dogs, they hunt by scent. So they've got a nose down and hunt. These are sight towns, they hunt predominantly by sight. So as soon as they see movement, that's when they go when I was interaction. Okay, Bob, let's see if she turns into a lurcher. There she goes. Not the easiest thing to train a to do, but if you get a, a Nazi, a well bred dog that Nazi retreats, it makes life a lot easier. So she's quite patient now, I'm really looking forward to working with this little dog. She's not the best dog to live with in the kennel, she's quite needy, because college can be, but she is very, very bright and intelligent. She's really good for me, she likes me. We are really well going around training. Uh, no. So we're going to our last one here. This is a third and final demo here at the game fair. Really pleased with her. Okay, Darcy, are you ready? Here we go. Off she goes again. She's only young. She hasn't got the points yet. But really pleased with this because it again. It's a nice spot. We were talking straight back to me. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't even make the rabbit with an I sent the dog, it runs out of patches, and then put it in the bag and sent for another one. Okay, Kelly? That was down to make a dead one. I didn't actually know whether there are rabbits in that berry. But this dog does. Okay, this is Luma. This is another colony right hand, very very similarly to the little pup. So I get to the fields, we get the dog out, we walk down the hedge line, and there's all the rabbit berries.
not only is he a, a dog trainer, he's also the gamekeeper. So I actually get a chance to go on with the lurcher on shoots. So we have to then train the lurchers to do some gun dog tasks. So this is Akira, maybe he turns a bit with a dash of my hand. He's 11 years old, okay? I can't wait till he grow up. One of the common premium attractions here of Game uh, 2019. Here we are, I'm all here. Okay, just time for the boy. So we've got now, we've got a bit more focused. So we'll say that. And we've got a couple of trees out. So we want to shoot. I'll pick it up. And some of the other shot friends over there, shot friends over there. So we can train these dogs. They can't do the same thing. We've got dogs. So with a quick look at that hand to go for the right hand retrieve. And off to the left hand. Good gear. Beat it. Yeah. Okay. Stop showing off. Right. Made a mistake. Another mistake. Every dog dog trainer makes mistakes. Once she was only about 10 weeks old, I was training to retrieve. I used her in cover, yeah? Because she was very small then, to jump into the game bag with the dummy. And now, at 22 inches taller, she still thinks she'd get a game bag. Yeah, you know what's coming now? He went down after that, he did it a little while. So, a little bit of dando work there, huge directions. But also, we've got to show you, she is a lurcher. And she does good throw it in. And she does mark. She knows there's a rabbit in that berry. So we'll give Akira. Yeah, you know exactly what's coming here, don't you? She ain't daft. Okay, Bob, well, let's give Akira a quick run. That's her last one here at Outfield House 2019. As I said earlier, 43 miles an hour and gives all the records. But people are now are breeding lurchers, not with really work in mind, but racing in mind. Now, to own a racing greyhound, I want a mob. Already prepared, thank you, I like that. It's going to be quite expensive to own a greyhound, 800 to 1,000 pounds minimum for a puppy. And then you have to then put it in with a trainer. You have to pay a trainer, 15, 20 pounds a day for training and housing the dog. You can't own, you can't have them at home, not until they're retired through regulations, through the Greyhound Racing Club. Um, but even then, don't bother there, it's for 250, 300 pounds. And you go to the country fairs that run all over the UK throughout the summer months, and you can compete in the racing competitions there. Now, with the racing way, as I said earlier, 450 to 480 metres around the track. With the joints of the game fair, it's probably about 200 to 250 metres. So what people are now doing, they're breeding greyhounds with wickets. So no, no colony blood, no terrier blood, just pure sight hound blood. Wicket cross greyhounds. And the reason they're doing that now is because wickets aren't what it's going to be greyhounds but they have got exceptionally good acceleration. So, when it's a short race, you need the dog to get up to speed very quickly to win the race. So this is Panda. She's three quarters with it, one quarter greyhound. She'll get up to top speed in the first six drives. So we're trying to count her down from quick enough. Give her a long circle. She had to compete in a quite a high level. She's racing a bit of a game fair and got third in the final there. So she's going to but we'll count her down any minute now. 
At six paces, you'll be touching close to 30 miles an hour in this arena. It's quite small, but I'm actually going to get close to that. Okay, Bob, are you ready? There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, he's 30 miles an hour. So when you're driving home from Atfield, and you see a little black and white dog running past your car, it's Panda. Good girl. We'll give it another run, try and cut down again. So I'm just trying to show you, if you want to have a they make really, really good pets. They've got a lovely nature. You know, they run around the field for 10 minutes, then they'll come back to the last set But the one thing you've got to remember is they have been going for hundreds of years to chase around game. But you can enjoy them if you don't want to work with dogs. They love running. She's got now her personnel on Panda. She's not really a working dog, she is a racing dog, but she goes out most weekends and races. So she's well adjusted, no problems, because she's doing what she loves to do. Okay, here, man. Off we go. This is Panda 1, 2, 6, 30 miles an hour. Actually, if you don't want another race, you can take a word and you can retrieve one. <laughs> Showing off, that's Panda. Well done, Panda. That was Panda and Kevin Wright. The big lad. So I said you see boiling nurses, lamping nurses, ferreting nurses. Nurses do a bit better work, you see the racing nurses. What we've got now is a bit more exotic. Okay, they come in all shapes and sizes. Nurses, they're a crossbreed. We're going to get a dog out now called Reg. Now, Reg is a Saluki cross. Now, Salukis will grow in or I'll break in the Middle East to cause and catch hares and antelopes in the desert. So hopefully you guys will come quite well with the seeds. Now the one thing with salute is they possess really good stamina. And the reason for that is if you saw a little panda, she's a real sprint machine, she exerts all her energy on takeoff. So 250 yards, she's a bit tired. With Saluki, they've got a very long, low gait, very conservative. They still get up to the speed, but it takes a bit longer, but once they get up to that speed, because they're not exerting too much energy, they can maintain that speed for a long, long period of time. So that's why they're favoured for causing large hairs and antelope across the desert. So this is Reg, he's five years old, and just watched a different running style, six years old, okay, sorry. I'm not getting the right one now again. So he's six years old, but just watch a different running style he's got, but he does still come with the ground. Okay, hit man, off you go. There's Reggie. Nice, elegant dog. Oh, yeah, I thought that might happen with him. Reggie's a bit of a lover rather than a fight to his Reggie. In fact, he's a rescue dog. At the 10 months old, we had to rescue him. We left back four homes because he was a bit of a nightmare, but he'd already had it as well. Yeah. It covered a bit of what we call covered a bit, so we decimated with a bit of 10 months old. So at a very early age, Reg can't help himself. Tell you what, Kelly, he's going to run faster now. Right, come on, Reg, behave yourself. So we'll give Reg another run. And then we're going to get another, a different type of nurse right again. As I said, they come in all shapes and sizes for all purposes now in the modern day. Not many even can set the king's here or a drill with a dog. Put meat on the table. Okay, here, man, off we go. This is Reg, his last run here at Get Happy 2019. Well done. That's it. Now, pay attention. He's a big puppy, really, old Reg. How much fun you have with the carrier bag in the field, eh? Crosses, burning the crosses, with the ground, racing dogs, saluki dogs, 
We are now going to get out a show lurcher, ladies and gentlemen. Because they're very nice looking dogs, they're very athletic, muscular, they're really nice to look at, even in our breeding lurchers to show. And there's big championships, big one, plus, but for lurchers. There's two shows run in the UK, major championships. One is in Chatsworth House in Derbyshire, run by the National Lurch and Racing Club. And the other one is run by Canterbury Fair, the Bigger Game Fair in September. And these organisers put out 60 to 70 qualifiers. So that means they'll put out people to apply to qualify. They'll have a local show, a local hunt show, or a local game fair, and they apply for qualifying status. And it means then the dog that wins that show gets a chance to go to Chatsworth House or the middle of the game fair to fight out amongst up to 60 or 70 dogs. If they all turn up, we found the best show dog in the country. Well, in 2016, this is Trooper. We took him up, it qualified, we took him up to Derbyshire, up to the house in 2016, and he was crowned reserve champion. So he was classed as second best show dog in the UK, 2016. But what I want to show you, I know, he's dripping on, but they have been bred for hundreds and hundreds of years since four brothers. So it doesn't matter whether it's a working nurture, a racing nurture, or a show nurture, they won't chase anything that gets in front of them. Off you go. There it goes. So just remember, if you want to own one, they're lovely dogs. But they will, if you're taking them across the field, they will chase a rabbit or something similar. And also, if you're not careful, next door neighbor's cat. Right, OK. Trooper's enjoying the surf, isn't it? Good lad. Right there. Right, we're getting through with one more one, he's quite enjoying it, and then we're going to get out for something that's going to be a little bit special. We didn't know whether to do it at the Game Fair for 2019, but we have a red-coated black dog in the van that has never been beaten in racing competitions in 2019. We're a bit worried because it's quite a small arena, and it's a little bit crazy, but we don't know. Let's do something special for the game fair. Well, we'll give Trooper his last run before we do that. Okay, hit him up, he's going to do Trooper's last run. Hey, you don't know, just have to leave for a show, bro. There he is, he's picked it up, and he's going to behave himself with something. He's going to just show off around the crowd, right? It's back there, only ladies there. No? Right, well, yeah. Thank you very much, thank you for that. Okay, right, go and get Trooper, and then get the loony out. I'm hoping the door will get the dog out of the van. Look out. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Margo, a red cookie black terrier, not a ledger, no, 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 but yeah. So this is Margo. We need the terrier in the main room. We thought we'd have a bit of fun with it. So this is Margo. She's 13 months old, Pantel, Pell, little bitch. But just watch it go on this floor. Are you ready, Hitman? It's coming your way, man. Margo, here she goes. <laughs> As you can see, she is a bit allergic. She's very soft mouth. She doesn't hurt her prey. Yeah. Look at it. It's a nutter. Have you got her? Got her? Alright, let's try and release. Look, look at it. Got it, huh? That's why you got her like every night, yeah? Well, let's get Margo the last run. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Margo Tarnick, everything is supported by Laura Kelly, and Big Hitman Eve down my lawn. Please have a good day, but hang on out here, there's the flat coat's coming on. Good stuff for me. There's loads of good dog stuff in here. But thank you very much for watching, and have a really good rest of your day. Off you go, Margo. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have your appreciation for Nigel Warney and the working lurcher team, please? Coming up next in the working lurcher arena, the Northampton Retriever demonstration team.